All right. Good morning. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to our monthly Zeek community call, uh, the call that we all are excited about and we have a meeting, right? So anyways, without further ado, I'm going to ask Johanna from our uh, leadership team that if she wants to give any updates on the LT side of the project. Johanna. Uh, sure. I think the main activity of the Zeek leadership team since the last time we had this call was around our community survey. Um, so the community survey is over now. We got um, 101 um, responses in total. We will share the results of the survey with the um, community, with everyone in the next couple of weeks in a uh, probably series of short posts where we highlight the results. Um, and I want to take this as an opportunity to say thank you again for everyone who um, submitted it and took part in it. Um, for us as a project, it's really hard to get a grasp of who is using our software and how they are using it and what people think is important and not. So um, stuff like that really helps, like this really helps us out to um, figure out who is using it, where we should put our focus and so on. And as I said, we will, pop, uh, we will um, come back with the results to everyone in the next couple of weeks. I think apart from that, the other main activity we had is that we started thinking a little bit about Seek events during the remainder of the year, but there is nothing there that we can share yet. And that's just kind of, if anyone has any questions, I'm happy to answer them. And um, just to plug the typical thing, um, we publish meeting notes for our meetings um, every time after it happens. So if you are curious about that, just go to the Seek web page, go to the leadership meetings uh, section, and there is a link to the LT meeting notes. Perfect. Thanks, Johanna, for the update. Are there any questions for Johanna specifically? All right, so I'm assuming there are none. So I will move on to Christian. Christian, do you want to give any updates on the technical side of the project? Yeah, sure. Thank you. Thank you, Fatima. So I, I have a couple of things today. So um, there have been two releases. We released 5.07 and 5.1.3. Those are security fix releases, bug fix releases. So if you're on either of those release trains, you'll have something to update to or hopefully maybe have already updated. Um, and more importantly, 5.2 is just around the corner. I think we just sort of uh, agreed in the team that it's time to release, which is great. Um, I was not going to talk about this one much in this call because it's not out yet, so it's not super final, um, but also because we're planning at least one blog post about the details of what's in that release because, you know, it's been in the making for a while, so there's quite a bit of stuff. Um, so that should come out in the next few days. Um, there's a bunch of sort of uh, related minor things that have been happening that I wanted to cover quickly. Um, for users out there who use our GitHub action for Zeek packages, action ZKG install, if you know that one, there aren't, I think, a ton of you out there yet, but you know, hopefully more soon. Uh, there's a new version. You should upgrade you know, the version tag that you use in, in your GitHub configuration. This is the latest is v2, and it's basically just to, um, uh, well, bug fixes and, and modernizations. Um, on the Docker side, we have a couple of updates. So first, if you guys are using the security uh, user or organization in, in, in Docker Hub, um, for a while now, we've offered Docker images uh, also at, as the, the Zeek user. Um, and we're planning to sunset the security one in the not too distant future. So if you could start to sort of migrate that over, um, that would be good. Uh, we'll we'll announce this further in in Slack and so forth, but eventually we'll turn that old one off just because it's sort of a bit of an outlier, and also because we're maintaining sort of three setups right now just to get our Docker images everywhere. So this is a little bit too much. Um, and also on the topic of Docker, we have started to offer um, multi-platform images, so we are starting to support ARM as well as you know x86 ARM AMD64. Um, and this will take a while to appear in all of the release branches, but I believe uh, 5.1 will be the first one that offers this out of the box. So the folks who run other architectures are starting to get sort of, you know, at least a chance of, you know, benefiting from our images. If you have questions about this stuff, also just like hit us on Slack. Um, 
a bit more minor. I, I don't know how many sort of you know hands-on B test users are out there, but B test has completed its long march to 1.0, <laughs> mainly because of uh, Windows support and a bunch of bug fixes around sort of you know output um, output uh, control. Uh, we had some bugs in there still that if you ran the right combination of things, then you know output would garble and and so forth. So a bunch of things got a little nicer, and it was time to sort of like you know get that out there. Uh, so if you use it in, in your own setups, then feel free to bump that up. It uh, should be working much better for you. Um, and then the final one I have is that I think we already touched this last time, but for folks in the Southern California area, the weekend after next um, will be at scale, the Southern California Linux Expo. And I'll be talking about Zeke in the security track uh, that I believe is on Saturday at 11 a.m. So maybe I'll see some of you there. Um, and if you haven't yet regist registered but are able to go, use the registration tag speaker, and I think you get 50% off of your registration. <laughs> uh, I hope I got that right. <laughs> and uh, otherwise, you know, again, ping us, ping me on Slack. Um, I think that's all I had. Thank you very much. Perfect. Thanks, Christian. Cool. Are there any questions for Christian on any part of the updates he discussed? All right. If nothing, then I can actually move over and just curiously ask if Kelly want to share any updates on her side. No, I think from my side, um, Christian and, and Johanna covered it perfectly well. And uh, again, just to echo Johanna's uh, mentioned thanks to everyone who participated in the uh, Zeke project survey. We really appreciate your feedback. Um, don't think that this is the last time. We may be asking for your feedback more um, and maybe on even a regular basis. So stay tuned. If you miss this time, um, we'll come back and ask you for your feedback again. So thanks. Awesome. Thanks, Kelly. And lastly, um, I can actually share some updates on the um, training side. Interestingly, it was uh, very prominent that from survey that one of the things that we noticed is people really are into trainings and they really want to see more trainings and especially on the virtual side of the uh, platform, like the, the online side. So we that helps us to focus more on what exactly community wants. So we are in the process of brainstorming different ideas of how we can provide that um, to our community. So we do have our uh, training subgroup meetings bi-weekly on Friday mornings, usually on uh, yeah at eight o'clock in the morning, PST. And if you guys would like to join or become part of the training subgroup, just ping me on Slack and I'll add you to all the mailing list and whatnot. So um, that's pretty interesting. We will actually be working on some of the online trainings now, now that we know more about what exactly the community wants and we will go from there. So we are pretty excited about the training subgroup part as well. So that's pretty much it um, from my side as well. So if there, are, if there are any other questions or discussion or concerns people would like to bring up, this is the time. Okay, silence is always the good thing I have realized lately in my career. So if not, then we can adjourn for today and feel free if you have questions later on, just ping any of us or in general Slack channel or Zeek. Uh, we have different channels and we are all almost kind of like actively participating in these, in these channels. So if you miss a chance to chat with us in this call and if you have questions later, do ping us on Zeek Slack channel and we should be able to get back to you with information or at least some of the you can drag you to the right path and whatnot. So anyways, with that, I hope you guys have happy Wednesday. And I look forward to seeing you guys all next month. Take care, everyone. See you guys. Thank you. Thanks. Bye. Thank you.